Hello again. Uh, this is Denise. Uh, I'm back and want to explain about my teaching and uh, my lessons and how I do Kenya Rwanda lessons. Um, so I have different materials. I have books and I have different materials that I use. So I would like to start with uh, the books I use for level one. So first of all, I do four levels. Uh, so it means like four steps of Kenya Rwanda. And each level, there will be a different uh, number of hours. Uh, first, uh, first level is 20 hours, and the second level is 30, and the other one is 40, and the other one is 60. So the total number of hours are 150. That you can take probably in two years and above, uh, yeah, to really finish all, uh, all hours. But it all depends on uh, like how much time you give to this. Uh, so if you study, for example, once uh, per week, it would take 150 weeks to finish. So it uh, depends on how much time you give. So it depends how much um, commitment you, you give to this and uh, how available you are. So most people who do level one, let's say they would do it between three to five months. Uh, some do did in a short time, like six weeks, because they are studying intensively. So it all depends, you understand. Um, and I want to say that yeah, you don't just come to study and say, oh, I'm going to do 150 hours in just two years or three years or four years. You know, Just give it time and you have to know that learning the language is living the language. So you live it. You live it in the everyday life, you speak it, you listen to it, you practice, yeah, you do a lot of things uh, uh, that helps you to learn the language. It's not something you just come and study and you say, like, well, I'm done with 20 hours or 50 hours. So you need to really to give a time to, to use it in your life. And remember that also, it's easy to forget the language, especially when you don't practice and or you stop learning it. So that's why learning language is like, when you start, once you start, it means like it's gonna be your life. So you have to learn every day if you really want to speak that language. Um, so level one, as you see, so those, those are type of my books. That's my name, Denise Umuneza. So this is level one, uh, it's for, it's called Conversational Kenya Rwanda course for beginners. So I call it beginners, but sometimes people who want to start level one, they know a little bit about Kenya Rwanda. They know some phrases. Some others, they just come knowing nothing. So it means like anything's possible. You know something, you know a little, you don't know. So if you really want to do level one, you can do it. Um, so it takes 20 hours. Uh, yes, uh, so it means like there will be exercises, there will be homework, there will be tests. So it's really a class. Um, then after you finish level one, you do level two. This is level two. It's much bigger, as you see. Uh, so it takes 30 hours, for example. And then uh, you do level, four, level three, which takes 40 hours. And you do level four, which takes 60 hours. So step by step, uh, you can finish all the hours uh, that are dedicated to this language. Um, so what I can say also, um, people say Kenya Rwanda is a complex language. Uh, so there will be grammar, there will be a lot of things that are maybe different from your language. You have to understand that languages are different. Don't try to translate from your language. Most of the time it doesn't work. So you really have to learn how the structure of that specific language works and the uh, rules, different rules of that language and the grammars. Yeah, so it means like um, <clears throat> I have the books in English and Kenya Rwanda, uh, because English is more like, spoken by many languages, by, by many people. And yeah, the English is my second language after Kenya Rwanda. So I prepared the materials in English and Kenya Rwanda. So I explain most of things in English, but I speak French. I can also explain in French, but uh, my books are not in French. Uh, but uh, every time I, I meet a French speaker, I can explain in French. So then we have so other, uh, books uh, level until level four, as I say. Uh, so to finish 150 hours, that you can take step by step. And uh, teaching Kenya Rwanda is my full-time job. Means I start morning eight to ten p.m. So I'm teaching full-time, and uh, so depends on my availability. You can always contact me to check if you wanna 
learn Kinyarwanda. So you are welcome. So teaching in Rwanda is not only using books. Uh, we go outside classes. Sometimes we go to the market to practice. Sometimes we go visiting places. We go in the village. So all those are the programs that we want now to uh, uh, like really put much effort in because uh, we find that really sometimes people come and learn English but or learn Kinyarwanda, but they don't have much time to practice. So that's why. Um, <clears throat> our new programs is really to take people on the field and uh, let them practice, let them be in the world where they can speak only Kinyarwanda and practice with local people. It's very important to learn a language when you are in a country. Uh, it connects you with the locals, it connects you with the culture, the country. You learn a lot about the history through the language, as I have explained already before. Tomorrow is 21st February. Um, we are going to, to celebrate uh, International Mother Tongue. Uh, so you are going to see these uh, videos tomorrow. So please uh, follow us on social media, wherever you are going to find these uh, videos. And check on our contacts and address so that you can uh, subscribe or you can register or you can even just contact us for details and information. Uh, so, as I said also about the books, uh, we have different uh, things that we do. We have games, we play games, card games. For example, we have been using the card games for learning numbers. Uh, I have learned uh, a game called Go Fish from my student. I love it so much. I use it for learning numbers. Uh, for example, I do some like, just like some cards in different colors. You see different colors. So that means like you can do a lot of things just to help people understand and learn the language. Yeah, you can do like flashcards. You can do um, some worksheet. You can do games. You can um, do some listening. We do some stories. Uh, we read books uh, for the people who are on the level, let's say level two, level three, or level four. Uh, those are the people whom uh, we read books together. And also level one, when we find a, an easy book, you can we can read the book. So. We read books, we listen to the news. So we do a lot of things uh, in our class. So please um, subscribe to our channel and uh, follow us on different social media. Uh, send us con uh, messages to, to, to ask for information. And uh, please help us to, to work on this campaign. Uh, help people understand and learn Kenya Rwanda, uh, in Rwanda especially, so there is a uh, uh, campaign that we are calling Ichinya uh, Rwanda uh, Iwacho, so which means Kenya Rwanda at home or in our place. So Kenya Rwanda, we should be speaking Kenya Rwanda everywhere. So the campaign is mostly to encourage people here in Rwanda, especially young people and children who don't speak Kenya Rwanda, so that they can see and understand that Kenya Rwanda is a beautiful language. People, experts are learning Kenya Rwanda. So it will, not, it will not really make sense if a child born in Rwanda cannot speak in Rwanda. So that's why I encourage parents to really uh, support me in this journey and help me teaching in Rwanda to young ones. Thank you very much.